सर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल आज हम लोग एक टास्क करने वाले हैं जो किसी क्लाइंट ने रिक्वायरमेंट दी है कि गूगल फॉर्म कैसे बनाया जाता है और उनको एक सर्वे फॉर्म बनाने के लिए एक ऑनलाइन सम टास्क दिया गया है तो टास्क आपके सामने स्क्रीन पे रखा हुआ है जिसके अंदर हम लोग गूगल में फॉर्म बनाएंगे राइट right? उसके अंदर ये कुछ उन्होंने टास्क पॉइंट्स दिए हैं वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस थिंग सर टास्क रिलेटेड टू सर्वे फॉर्म टू टेक दी फीडबैक फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग वर्कशॉप दे अटेंडेड यानी आप भी अगर आप कोई वर्कशॉप ले रहे हो अपने स्टूडेंट्स से फीडबैक लेना है तो इस फॉर्म को डेफिनेटली रेफर करें इस तरह से क्रिएट कर सकते हो अपना रेफरेंस के लिए फीडबैक लिए जा सकते हैं सो देर इज अ गुड प्रोविजन बाय द गूगल वी कैन जस्ट क्रिएट दिस फॉर्म्स एंड फॉर दैट वील स्टार्ट नाउ सबसे पहले आप गूगल पे आ जाइए अपना अकाउंट लॉग होना चाहिए उसके बाद आप यहाँ पे इसको क्लिक करेंगे तो यू गेट सो मेनी एप्लीकेशन प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गूगल इसके अंदर हमको गूगल फॉर्म ढूंढना है देर आर सो मेनी अदर एप्लीकेशन प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गूगल यहाँ पे अगर आप देखेंगे तो सबसे लास्ट में फॉर्म्स करके है इस पर आप क्लिक करेंगे तो हियर यू कैन क्रिएट योर फॉर्म वेन आई क्लिक हिस्सा न्यू थिंग सो हियर यू कैन सी यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ आउटपुट ये कुछ फॉर्म्स के रिलेटेड है ना अब हमको ब्लैंक फॉर्म चाहिए फीडबैक है कॉन्टेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन है ये सब चीज़ें हैं राइट इसमें हमको टेम्पलेट गैलरी बोल सकते हैं इसमें बहुत सारी चीज़ें बनने बनाई होती हैं पहले से ही राइट ये है और कुछ हमने जो फॉर्म बनाए होंगे पहले से ही वो यहाँ पर भी दिख सकते हैं बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं सो विल स्टार्ट विद अ ब्लैंक क्योंकि इस टास्क में इन्होंने जो दिया है उस टास्क को हम रेफर अगर करें तो इन विच सब्जेक्ट यू अपने द लर्निंग द वर्कशॉप क्वेश्चन नाउ दीज आर द थिंग्स वी हैव टू अप्लाई क्रिएट द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन है सर्वे फॉर्म टू टेक द फीडबैक ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स राइट अब ये यहाँ पे फॉर्म में सिंपल ब्लैंक फॉर्म लेते हैं यहाँ पे फॉर्म लेंगे तो हमको ये फॉर्म का टाइटल मांगेगा सो इट इज गेटिंग नाउ दिस इज अनटाइटल फॉर्म वी कैन गिव हियर द सर्वे फॉर्म वर्कशॉप सर्वे फॉर्म यहाँ पे हियर वी कैन गिव द डिस्क्रिप्शन Simply here we are going to write, dear user, kindly fill the survey form for the workshop attended by you. This is how we can collect. You can allow here to collect the email, valid email. They will user will give their email, so let it be there. it is now now what we are next question first thing is in which subject you apply the learning of the workshop this is type of this check box now this is the question we need to write in which subject will you apply the learning of the workshop so here in which subject will you apply the learning of the workshop Now you see, you can see the question type is check box. So question type not multiple choice. Here we are going to select check box. So we have now options: Hindi, Science, Maths, English, and SS. So give here Hindi, Science. Just press the down arrow key. It will give automatic new option: English, Hindi, Science, Mathematics, and English. Mathematics, English, and social science now what next how will you rate the workshop this is linear scale 1 did not like 5 is very good okay the next question so how we are going to add a new question yahan pe one we have added here we have added one question now here we are going to click to add new question see you get the new question option we can write here how did how will you rate the workshop how will you Rate the workshop. Here you have option C one to five. The inner scale is automatically came here, right? Level one is did not like for one, did not like for one, and number five is very good. C. So it is another added here. So we have another question. Identify the author. Here we have to give this option. Identify the author. Add an image of any author and give appropriate options. We'll like this. Multiple type of questions. So here identify the author. Multiple type question. We'll add new question. Identify the author. Question and here we need to add an image as an 
of any author we will add an image from here so image is added from here option add image we can select image from our computer browse or we can give from the url as well so we can give any image like this why give this image it will be like this none then see okay i have given this blank option one we can give here author one author two and so like this multiple choice so here i'll give author one and in option two again i can upload another image browse for that we can put someone else like this I have certain images I'm putting that you can add your own images since demo image like this author 2 we can add one more image here's a multiple type that will give the four images like browse here I'll find some option like this we can add any Suppose okay, another one is this third option. Then we have here author three and here author four with an image as an option. Browse like this, we can do two things, okay. So we have we have created an MCQ with the images as per this question and appropriate options means I have given just only author 1, 2, 3 and 4. It's your choice. You can give your option whatever you like. Now add a video of any interest and ask one question type multiple type question. Now we are going to create a video question here. We are going to add here. Here we have an option right here we can add a video from here. We will search for a video. First of all, we need uh, some video. So, I need to go for and download some video. So, I can click here. All right. Add video. I can give the URL of any uh, uh, YouTube. So, what I will do, I will just make give one URL here. Just wait. Okay. Here, I have added one URL of the video. So, I will select this video and this will be a part of question. Here, we can create a question. We can create any question. It's as it's shown here. Uh, add a video and ask one question okay which software is being which software the software shown in video is being downloaded to work for which programming language just like this and we are going to create an MCQ question actually we will change this title we will do the watch the video and attempt the following question like this and here we will give in the question section we will write this thing software which is shown in video it has been downloaded to support with software. So here we will give this Java, C++, Python, all of them like this and MCQ. And in MCQ, we need to give the answer. So answer is to be given how we are going to assign an answer. All right. First of all, I'll that also I'll show you how it's going to be given an answer. Correct on. And if you as you do as you know this, we know we are going to create an answer question. So we need to specify which is the correct answer. Otherwise, how it is going to check it? For that, I'll just show you one more setting here in the settings. What we are going to do? Add-ons and settings. This let us make this as a quiz first of all. Okay, then you will see this thing also in the question letter. Question, it will come. I think so. It will definitely come. So we are moving ahead. And let us finish this first what are the questions are coming here okay now students should only be able to complete the form once okay now the settings come here so in the settings as I said in the settings okay 
first setting is student should only be able to complete the form once should not be able to edit the submitted answer so here first of all what we are going to do make this as a quiz so if it's so it is responses collect email address okay so we need to collect the email address allow response editing no it is like this students should only be form the ones so it is only one and should not be able to edit the submitted answer so we are not going to allow in this edit if we allow this so it is editable again so we are not going to allow it. send responses in a copy of their forms let us see after submitting the form students should be able to see the confirmation message thank you for submitting the survey form so respond is a copy of the phone is that is different thing so what we are going to here we have some form defaults collect email address question defaults question like like this now what are here in presentation shuffle around after submission confirmation message here is a confirmation message you can see here we are editing so what is the here message is given thank you for submitting the survey form thank you for submitting the survey form here we will say this this will be received when the form will be submitted by the student now the next option here is student should be able to see the summary of the responses of the students so here we will see where here in this view result summary we can allow this thing allow this thing to view the summary now what next is there question have the automatically have the form automatically like result in a spreadsheet so we are in the spreadsheet we will go here in responses and you have yes by default accepting responses yeah if it is not like that you need to do like this it is going to connect the one spreadsheet file with this form you are making and how to submit share the form link so here first of all we give this a name workshop name and here we are going to in settings and sending in this using the link so you can use this link and you see here short uh, share the link of the form link that you will share with the student or respond so shorten this url and copy this link and send it via your email ids or your in whatsapp whatever you like right this email will this link will show you the form you have created now you see this is a form right now what i am doing i am going in another browser and i am pasting the link here you see you are going to say this form you are getting here so here we will be conducting the workshop survey you see here the form is here we can give like, give like this submitter narendra.eliani at gmail.com and this was the response from my how you are writing this workshop very good this was the author and here we have missed out in something I let us see title was what I title and if it is something wrong we are going to edit this form now we are going here and we we'll close this and the question I missed out some portion I think okay this is something extra we are getting here so we are going to delete this right we have deleted here and we will refresh it here so there was nothing now I think was this video and the question here is C++ for example then I'll submit this when I submit this see previous responses we can see the previous submit another response if it is so submit another response is not going to be the same email ID but we can come here and we'll come in the responses we'll see we have got one response and we can see these are the responses given by the user okay this is a chart i hope you got this understand how to create a response form make it yourself and try it out